Hello everyone, and welcome to Suffolk Codes Part 4. I'm Miss Natalie, and remember that I will be available on Wednesdays from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. for office hours. And if you missed last week's session, go ahead and pause this video and watch Parts 1, 2, and 3, which you can find on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Let's get coding! Today we're going to work on some art. This first one is called the Spiralizer. As usually, we're going to remove our cat sprite and we're going to add a ball sprite. Go to the costumes tab and select whichever color you want. Next we're going to make a loop so that the ball is always cloning itself. So add this code to your sprite. Make sure you select the turn right degrees and it's going to be 10. Next add this code so that the clone moves two steps. and it's only going to move two steps. So test out your project. Pretty neat, right? You'll start to see that these balls are landing on the edges and we want to fix that. We want them to disappear. So we're going to add this code so that when they reach the edge will get deleted. So now every time it reaches the edge, it gets deleted and you won't have them pile up like that. All right, next we're gonna add a couple of variables. This is going to be the angle variable and the speed variable. Make sure these boxes are checked because we want them to stay on the screen. Now we're going to change the ball's code a little bit. We're going to set the angle at 10, then set the speed to 2. Then instead of 10 degrees, we're going to add angle. Where it says move two steps, you're going to add speed. Your project should still run the same, but now you can click on the slider and adjust the angle and the speed.
add this code so that you can delete the clones when you hit spacebar. Now we're going to add some color by using the pen tool. Go to add extension and select pen. Add this code to your ball code. and you'll see some really cool displays. Add the erase all code so that when you hit spacebar, it'll clear your project. Finally, we're going to change the color pen so that we can get some creativity going. Voila, now you've got some beautiful creations. Don't forget that you can also change the pen size. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have fun! In this next project, we're going to create some beautiful artistic flowers. For this project, you will still need the pen extension. If it's not there anymore, go ahead and add it from the menu. We're going to delete our cat sprite again, and we're going to add the ball. You can select any color for your flower. Now we're going to add this code so that it can create stamps of the flower. Make sure to include the minus sign. This symbol here means divide. program should create a little flower. Next we're going to make our own blocks. Go to my blocks and hit make a block. This one will be called draw flower. You want to delete the when flag pressed 
and add this one to the top. Next, you'll create a new code so that it will draw your flower. Your flowers will be created when the mouse is clicked. So this code means that whenever this pink one is activated, all of this will happen. Lastly, don't forget to add an erase all code, an erase all block. To make our flowers different, we're going to change the number of petals and the colors. Add this code to change the number of petals on your flowers. First we're going to edit this block and we're going to add an input. We're going to create copies and drag it to repeat and where the number 5 is. Here you can see that you have a number space for draw flower. We're going to add pick random number. and the numbers are between 5 and 10. When we run our project, we'll see that each flower will have different petals. Next, we're going to change the color. We're going to edit our define block, and we're going to add two more inputs. Petal color, and center color. We're going to add two color effect code blocks. The color goes on the first one. And center color goes on the second one. Make sure you choose the correct block that says two and not by. On our main code, we can see that there are two more spots available. Here we can also choose random colors. Remember, if you want it to be a specific color, 
you only need to change the numbers and not add the pick random block. If you do choose pick random, the numbers will be negative 100 to 100. When you run the project, you should have different kinds of flowers on the stage. Now let's add the flower stalks. We will need to create a new block. This one will be called Draw Stock. And it also requires two inputs, one called Length, and one called thickness. Add this code to draw your stock. Then we're going to add a draw stock code to our main code. Finally, we'll add a background. Choose any background that you'd like. I think one with greenery would work best. Run your project and you should have flowers with stalks now. Have fun creating a beautiful flowery forest. Thank you all again so much for watching. As always, happy coding!